London's famous Buckingham Palace. We know much about the daily life of its royal inhabitants, but what about the staff of dedicated servants who toil behind the scenes in unselfish loyalty to the monarchy? We take you backstairs at the palace. Must we continue this incredible argument? It just goes on and on and on. Well, Hortense, my love, if you... If you... If you just let me explain. What is the use of explaining? It's the same story every night. I stay at home in this creepy castle while you go out with your friends to the pub gambling. And I suppose you lost again last night. How much? Only five pounds. Five pounds? But it wasn't my fault. Some wise guy filed down the point on my dog. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I even bothered to marry you in the first place. Oh, 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 I'll tell you why. Don't you remember you said my kisses were like fireworks? When I held you in my arms, I made your sparks fly. That's why you married me. I said that. Well, somewhere along the line, your powder got wet. I say, how's your headache? Why do you keep saying, I say? I mean, I know it's you, and there's only you and I here. It's just a British habit we've been saying it for centuries. Well, you ought to know. And another thing. You said that I would meet lots of huge celebrities and face to face so you have didn't i take you to madame tussauds yes you did and when i walked out with you they accused me of leaving with an exhibit <laughs> thank you dizzy thank you skitch you may go now <laughs> My, what a morning. I feel like I've been through the Battle of Hastings. Why, whatever happened? You wouldn't believe the traffic out there. A bobby just gave me a ticket for making a U-turn on Bird Cage Walk. The Queen will never forgive me. <laughs> His Royal Highness is due for a change. Isn't that cute? My favorite ceremony, change of the Royal Nappy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> is that really Princess Anne's baby? That's right. Today he said his first words, tally-ho. <laughs> You know, there's something about a royal child that sets him apart from other babies. Oh, yes. Do you know, he even has a stiff upper lip. Yes, that's not easy with no teeth. <laughs> Here, let me show you a little system I invented for this. It really saves time. You see, you pretend the diaper's a map of London, like that. First, you fold Hyde Park, and then you pin it to Westminster Abbey, see? Then you take Buckingham Palace, and you pin it to Covent Garden, like that. There. Isn't that simple? Hmm. Don't look now, but I can still see Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> this way, ladies, single file, single file. Hey, hey, hold it right here. Hold it. Who are you? I am Sheikh Abdul Kamani. May I introduce my wives? Uh, Karina, Saroya, uh, Laverne, Shirley. <laughs> I'd love to meet them all, but we don't have the time. This is only a sketch, not masterpiece theater. What are you doing in Buckingham Palace anyway? You mean this isn't Windsor Castle? about 30 miles from here. Ah, uh, sorry, ladies. We're getting our castles mixed up. <laughs> In the name of Allah, a thousand apologies. Don't mention it. And have a nice visit. Oh, I'm not visiting. I've just bought it. <laughs> There's the phone. I knew, I knew I heard it. <laughs> ring, ring. Ring, ring. Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Who was that? Her Majesty. <laughs> oh, she wanted to order some groceries for the state dinner. She wanted to know if they had arrived yet. Oh, they came yesterday. I already put them away. Here they are, right here. Oh, no. <laughs> Not another state dinner. And who, may I ask, is the guest of honor this time? Yes. <laughs> Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter, that's right. Isn't it wonderful how quickly she makes friends? Oh, that's so romantic. 
darling, why don't you make love to me like that? I would, but I haven't been able to find a cue card man who works bedroom. <laughs> Hotchkiss, this is the most gorgeous creature I've ever met, in my opinion. Now, wait, 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 what are you doing? Getting a second opinion. <laughs> yeah, but wait, wait, how about me? Oh, all right. Well, now I know how Callahan feels. <laughs> Not even Mr. Callaghan should be left out in the cold. I feel like a stand-in for Prince Charles. You better have your lips retreaded, I'll tell you that. You seem very much at home here. How would you like a job as a footman? Me, Richard Burton, as a footman? That'll be the day. Oh, no, the pay is, is very good. That'll be the day. The hours are very good. That'll be the day. Oh, but if you, if you did, uh, then we could... Uh... The day has arrived. <laughs> when do I start and where's my uniform? Right after this audition, Maestro. <laughs> Babies may be cheerful, and doggies unruly, and though our duties come in an endless parade, there ain't a single problem that faces your truly the butler, and the footman, and the cook, and the maid. At six o'clock this morning, while Philip was snoozing, I gave his shoes a polish. Pity this way. This butler, and this footman, and this cook, and me. I decant the sherry while reciting the bar. And I provide the talk and when they're changing the guard. Oh, tell my boss for whom we cook and we clean. Yes, God save the queen. The others of our calling, regard us with malice. The reason why they hate us is we made the grave. We're really in the big time, we're playing the palace. The butler and the and the cook. I have an idea. You did a song in Camelot that reflects the political atmosphere of this country right now. Ah, yes. I know the one. How to handle a woman. There's a way, said the wise old man. A way known by every woman since the whole rigmarole began do i flatter her i beg to him answer do i threaten or cajole or plead do i brood or play the game romancer said he smiling no indeed how to handle a woman Mark me well, I will tell you, sir. The way to handle a woman is to love her. Simply love her. Merely love her. Love her. I guess that question has been baffling man ever since Eve began accusing Adam of seeing someone else. I think you're probably right, Bob. And you know that wonderful feminine mystique must be the same the world over. But you know, Richard, there's a world of difference between the way a Britisher handles a woman and an American. Very true, Bob. For instance, when we British meet a woman, we gaze deep into her eyes. That's romance. No, no, that's conceit. You just want to see two reflections of yourself. <laughs> but of course, when an American sees a woman, he's a little more direct. Yes, I know. You tend to whistle. 
shouldn't do that when you see a woman. Really? No, no. Why should you give them a warning? <laughs> well, differences notwithstanding, thank heavens for all those girls on both sides of the Atlantic. What would we possibly do without them? I don't know, but whatever you do, don't ask Lee Marvin. <laughs> How to handle a woman Mark me well, I will tell you, sir The way to handle a woman Is to love her Simply love her Merely love her Love her Stage credits ranging from Shakespeare, Henry V, Hamlet, and The Tempest to Lerner and Lois Camelot to his most recent Broadway smash, Equus. He's truly become a standard by which all other actors are judged. Among his screen credits, classic films abound. The Taming of the Shrew, Anne of a Thousand Days, Beckett, to name but a few. Great Britain can justly be proud, for indeed the sun shall never set on the unique talent of Mr. Richard Burton right here. Welcome, Richard. This is your first appearance on a comedy show, isn't it? Well, that uh, remains to be proven. <laughs> oh, that voice. That voice. I love it. Now, pull yourself together. Don't get carried away, Bob. It's only a little joke. <laughs> I know, but it sounded so good. <laughs> Richard, thank you for coming all the way from Puerto Vallarta in Mexico to join us. I know how much you love it there. I do. Uh, the nearest uh, critics are at least a thousand miles away. <laughs> Sounds like paradise. How's your Spanish? No, fluent. Fluent. The, uh, the natives love the way I speak. Why else do you think they ask me to repeat everything three or four times? <laughs> well, your Spanish must be like mine. Last time I was in Mexico City, I asked someone for directions. The next thing I knew, I was engaged. <laughs> was she at least uh, dutiful? He, Richard, he. <laughs> but it must be nice for you to have a hideaway like that. Oh, yes, it's lovely, and, uh, and nobody knows who Richard Burton is. No, kid, but well, what do you do? I cry a lot. <laughs> Seriously, life in Mexico is refreshing. Down there, fighting the bull is a sport, not an election. <laughs> well, how's the food? Hot. Heartburn is a normal condition in Mexico. Once the fire stops, you know it's time to send for the priest. Richard, how about this Palladium Theater? You know, someone once said the Palladium is the place where just 15 seconds on its stage is a career. 15 seconds. Then I'll go. No, no, no. No, no you can't. No. I've always been in awe of the Palladium. What great performers have appeared here? Danny Kaye, Judy Garland, Jack Benny, Jimmy Durante. Very interesting. Don't they allow British subjects? <laughs> of course. How gauche of me. It's your chaps who made this the most famous variety theater in the world. On behalf of our chaps, I thank you. <laughs> the theater is impressive, I must say. I can now say that I played the Palladium. May I just try a little something, Bob? I've never tried this kind of thing with this kind of thing. 